When government announced a debt operation to exchange old bonds for new ones maturing in 2027, 2029, 2032, and 2037 at 5% coupon rate in 2024 and 10% from 2025 until maturity, organized labor rejected it. Various labor unions asked government to completely exempt pension funds, threatening industrial action if their demands were refused. Government obliged, and in a memorandum signed on December 22 between the Finance Ministry, Labor Ministry, and the labor unions, government granted exemption to the pension funds of organized labor. The domestic debt exchange program, however, continues to face resistance and difficulties in attaining the 80% of bonds needed to reach the goal of 55% debt to GDP ratio by 2028. These difficulties to get investors to sign on to the program have resulted in the extension of the program on four occasions, the latest to February 7. While announcing the extension, government also said engagements with labor were ongoing, but there are fears pension funds could be brought back into the conversations, but the labor unions have sought to allay the fears of workers. Issues that have not been discussed, it's out there that uh, organized labor discussed and made a statement and so on and so forth. So that is why we want the public to know that we have not had any meeting with, with uh, Honorable John Kuma, who was heard on air this morning saying so many things. He was saying that the uh, government has engaged organized labor and you have agreed on something, which, I mean, you have not heard of. Meanwhile, he was not in part of the meetings that you have heard. What organized labor is saying is that on 22nd December, the MOU signed between us and the government is final and nothing will have to be changed. Mr. George Wansan also encouraged government to implement recommendations made by the labor unions. Point two of the MOU states that uh, we will continue to engage. We have started engagement. We have given them so many suggestions. We expect that government should also go into that uh, options. Now, on Tuesday, government released a press statement announcing the extension of the domestic debt exchange program to February 7th. Now, in that press release, it also mentioned that engagements were still ongoing with organized labor in accordance with the MOU that was signed between labor and government. Uh, today, organized labor have sought to clarify that for them, they maintain their position that they want complete exemption from the program and that discussions with government has nothing to do with their pension funds. For City News, Charles Osukumi reporting.